Tap on the plus sign to create a new project. I'm going to add this clip. Since it's already formatted to 16 by 9, I'm going to tap on Canvas. I'll choose Blur. Tap on the check mark and use the left facing arrow to go back to the main timeline. It now looks properly formatted for YouTube. I'll pause the video, I'll tap on Overlay, and then add Overlay. Now I need to select my animated subscribe logo. If you want to look at a clip before you add it to a project, just tap on it like this. This is the wrong clip. So I'm going to go back to the clip selection window. And this is the clip that I actually want to use. So I'll tap in this circle. And then tap on Add. The clip will be added to the project. The first thing that you should do is remove that green screen background so that just your graphic appears on top of your main video clip. Let me show you how to do that now because there is something that's a little bit odd when you use green screen inside CapCut in other editing apps like InShot or VideoLeap. Once you pick the green color, it will automatically disappear. However, inside CapCut, this is not the case. Select your overlay clip like it is now, then swipe over and look for an option that says Chroma Key. You should find it next to Mask. Tap on chroma key. Make sure that color picker is highlighted in green. You will see a circle on top of your video clip. Move the circle by long pressing and dragging it until it looks like this. It needs to be moved over top of the color, in this case green. You might have noticed that the green color has not disappeared yet. You have to tap on intensity and move the slider that appears until the green color disappears. Try not to make the intensity too high because in some cases it may distort the graphic that you're trying to show on screen. The chroma key will remove other colors, but as usual, the best colors to use are green and blue. The next thing you should do is shrink down your graphic once the green screen is removed. and reposition your graphic by just moving it to where you want it. That looks great. To make these changes permanent, you need to export the video. Tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner like this. Just wait patiently for the export to finish. Once it's done, you can find the completed video inside your camera roll. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload new videos. You can tap on Done to be taken back to the main CapCut project screen.